to an all new episode of Conflix. Today I'm excited to show you an all new robot. This here is the all new Cody Rocky by Makeblock. A company we've seen before that makes a lot of great products such as the Mbot as well as the Neuro Inventor Kit. Now if you want your own Cody, feel free to look at the link down below. So this particular robot is actually quite interesting just because it uses an all new Mblock 5 which allows you to go ahead and program and do a variety of different things in which you can go ahead and make it move, use sensors from infrared sensor, down to even a light sensor, as well as a sound sensor. So it's actually got a lot of different things and it does teach you about robotics. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. All right, so this here's our box. And you can actually see it's got a lot of different cool looking logos on it. It has this nice embossed feel to it as well. Now on the back over here, it kind of shows you the robot itself. Obviously it does mention a lot of different things, but it's actually in a different language, so we can't really decipher it. But overall, it's actually a really cool looking design. Uh, and it just kind of slides open just like that. There we go. And then on the top here, it says, uh, looks like it says Cody. Uh, then we can go ahead and lift this up here. Uh, we got two different packets, so we got a packet up here and we got a packet down here. Now on top of here, we have ourselves a quick little instruction guide. Uh, so this will kind of tell, tell you exactly how to go ahead and set it up. It's actually quite simple in the sense, you just go ahead and plug and play. Uh, and then you just download the uh, app itself for the M block. And then this here is like a little card showing the robot itself. And on the back, you just go ahead and scan that and you can download the app. Uh, and then check that out. This here is our Cody Meg block. Now uh, it actually looks like a cat, it's got ears. Uh, then obviously it has a speaker and it's got three different buttons. Uh, it's got the cable on the top here to go ahead and charge it as well as connect it to your computer. And on the bottom here is a port that allows you to go ahead and connect it to a variety of different things such as the Neuro and Metric Kit as well as the base that it comes with. Now literally it's magnetic so it's actually really simple to use. Uh, overall it actually looks really cool. It's got a power button on the side and then got a volume control as well. So just going to put that to the side for now. Uh, and then over here we have a variety of different color cards. So these colors actually allow the robot to go do different functions. So you can actually program it to do a variety of things. So we'll definitely use that later. Uh, and then we have ourselves a base. Check that out. This thing looks really cool. Uh, I do see there's a lot of different ports on here. So you can always go ahead and expand on it. Uh, and even on the back as well as on the front. You got the sensors right over there. And literally the way this thing works is it just goes ahead and slides right in just like that. So that's our little robot. It's actually really cute looking. Uh, and then lastly we have ourselves a, a USB cable, so this will plug into the computer or into the wall outlet to go ahead and charge it, as well as connect to it and kind of expand on it. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and set this thing up and kind of see what it's all about. Alright, so we're all set and ready to go. We're going to go ahead and turn on our Cody by simply pressing this power button on the side here. And we're going to put them in the dock for now, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the app itself. This is called M-Block. Uh, it's the latest version, kind of teaches you step by step on different things. So as we kind of scroll right through this, you'll see it right there. Uh, it shows all the different things that you can do. So you got a start f uh, feature, events, nice to meet you, sequences, loops, and then it continuing on and turns out it's coming soon. Now it works via Bluetooth and then it kind of shows you everything step by step uh, from light sensors to the uh, LCD screen down to even a sound sensor. Alright, so there's a variety of different things that we can do as you can see right here, but we're going to go ahead and start off with events. Uh, so this will kind of teach you different programming sequences. So it says when you press the A, uh, the uh, robot will say meow. So it already kind of sets you up there, so I'll hit uh, play and hit letter A. And then there you have it, so we can go ahead and continue on with the lesson, so I'll click on next. Uh, it says when you press B, it'll show an image. So we're going to change that to B and then drag that one right there. And now for the image itself, obviously, you know, you can actually customize it. So if I uh, just go ahead and erase this, or if I go ahead and scroll through here, I can click on like one, this, this one says conflicts that I made earlier. Uh, and if I hit check, uh, I can hit play and hit B, you'll see that it'll show our conflicts. <laughs> so, but obviously that's not the one that they want. So we'll click on this again and then we'll click on the correct. Uh, eyes, which is that one right there, and then we'll hit check, and then we'll hit play, and then hit B, voila! So, you know, it just kind of gives you an idea how this works, it teaches you step by step how to go ahead and learn about it, uh, then we'll click on next, so when you press C, the red light will uh, light up for one second. So if I click on the question mark here, it'll kind of give you exactly step by step in case if you don't know how it works. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on events and drag this one right here, press the letter C, and then we're gonna light that up for one second and hit play. So it sees right here. You'll see that red LED. And continuing on. 
So, you know, this one here is when the robot is shaken. So, you know, this gives you an idea more in terms of the sensors goes uh, and what you can do. So click on events uh, when Cody is shaken and hit play. If I shake it, you see the eyes light up. There you go. So it's actually really cool. Uh, and then click on next. So this one has to do with light intensity. So it does have a light sensor. So if I go ahead and drag that there, when the light is less than 10, uh, it'll go ahead and light up yellow for three seconds because that's what we want. And if I just go ahead and cover this here, or uh, the uh, sensors, uh, there we go. So I'll try that. There you go. You see the yellow LED? And there you go. You have it. So that's actually really cool. Uh, obviously you want to put it in the dark environment, but just to show you, that's how it works. Uh, now this is uh, when it's, it's 7, we'll go ahead. Uh, so then the, this one has to do with the sound sensor, so if it's louder than 7, uh, it'll go ahead and say hello. So, put that there. Hello. Hi. There you go. Alright, so the next thing we'll look at is nice to meet you. It's actually a feature in the uh, app itself that allows you to go ahead and create your own script to introduce yourself to Cody. Now, literally the way it works is it wants you to go and shout its name and then have it do a movement and then say hello at the end. So we'll click on start for now. Uh, so we got a few different variables. So the first thing we'll look at is the event. So this here is when the loudness is greater than seven. So when we say, hey Cody, uh, it'll actually go ahead and create that series of events. So we'll click on motion next. So we can actually create different movements as well as different speeds for a different amount of seconds. So we'll go ahead and move them forward and make them move left and then we'll make them move right. Uh, and then from there we'll make them play a sound, we'll make them say hello and even try this play note one so we can change the note to a different function as well as a different sound. Uh, so let's leave it at hello for now. And then lastly we can also do a look. So we'll just go ahead and uh, show an image. Uh, we'll make him see like the sunglasses one looks pretty fun, so we'll do that. And then we'll also create a, another image, uh, which we'll throw in the Conflicts logo uh, right over there. And we'll set that one for 10 seconds. So that should be good. And let's try this out. Hey, Cody. And there you have it. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, so it kind of gives you an idea of how this all plays out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump onto the computer and see the actual uh, computer software itself for mBlock. All right, check it out. So this here is the new MakeBlock software. Uh, it kind of gives you a more in-depth feature where you can go ahead and just kind of drag and drop all the different functions that you need to do from different actions, speakers, sensors. Kind of gives you an idea, you know, you can like do the shaking feature, the accelerometer, uh, different color features, uh, the events, the different controls, operators, variables, even my blocks where you can go ahead and expand on it using the Neuron Adventure Kit. You can even control this little panda over here as well with the uh, robot itself making it into a controller. So it's actually really easy, you just go ahead and drag and drop and it connects via Bluetooth to the actual robot itself, which is very nice. Plus you can always go ahead and customize it and you can like edit this and change the background and do uh, go on and go and so forth. So it's actually a really nice software that's really well defined and very much easy to use. So it kind of gives you an idea exactly how this works. So literally the educational purpose of this robot is really strong and I think they did a great job in executing it all together. All right, well there you have it. This here is Cody Rocky, and actually it's a really great companion. It allows you to go ahead and teach you a lot about robotics as well as coding. Definitely a great introduction robot in the sense of anyone who wants to learn about coding. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.